Hi everyone, are you using your Creality Falcon to run a small business? Or maybe there's an event coming up or a holiday coming up and you want to produce a batch of items at the same time? Do you know how to use the Creality Falcon to produce a batch of items? Today we're going to use some cork coasters and show you how you can do multiple items at the same time on your Creality Falcon. We're gonna do eight coasters at the same time. So the first thing we're going to need is we need some cork coasters, a ruler, and I also like to use a caliper, which is very convenient. The Creality Falcon 22 watt laser engraver, and a computer for running Lightburn software. So if we have all of those things, all we have to do is start by putting it together. Install our laser diode onto our Creality Falcon 2. We can do that like that. And I guess we should measure it to make sure it's the right height. So we'll do that at the same time. We'll use our handy dandy measuring tool. Now we just set the laser diode right down onto the measuring tool. Tighten the screws. And remove the measuring tool. That's going to be the right height. All right, so we'll set our first coaster onto our cutting surface. And now we'll go to our light burn software the entire pattern, and just for ease of use, we're going to change the X axis and the Y axis to 100. And that is going to be the center of our design, 100, 100. And now that other one is going to be our second coaster. Now we can set a coaster here, and to find the X and Y axis, we'll have to find out exactly what the distance is between each of these. So you can see I'm at about 11 millimeters. So from the center of this one to the center of this one will be the diameter plus 11 millimeters. But there is an easier way rather than calculating that because the problem with that is if I do a third one, every one will be a little bit different. I have to measure each time. So this way, by pushing them together, I know that the distance from the center of this one to the center of this one is the diameter. So to be very precise, we'll use our caliper tool. They say they're 10 centimeter coasters. Let's see if they're right. I just want to be exact because the light burn software wants an exact number. Pretty close, 99.99 .99 to 100. So the diameter of our coaster is 100. Back to the light burn software. So now we will copy this design. And this time we'll just change the X axis to 100 plus the diameter of this circle, which is 100 coincidentally. So in this case, it's going to be Y100, X200. Very simple. Control V. This one, we're going to put a third coaster onto the working surface. Touching again. Control copy, control paste. So again, the Y axis is gonna be 100. We want it to stay on that same Y axis. But this time the X axis is gonna be 200 plus the diameter, which is 100. So the X axis is 300. I have room for a fourth coaster. So I'm going to set a fourth coaster in exactly the same place and do the same thing a fourth time. And now we're going to copy again. Have our fourth pattern, same thing. Y at 100. And the X position this time is gonna be 400. This is such easy math for me. And there we have four coasters lined up side by side be printed all at the same time. Similarly for the coasters above, since our Creality Falcon can do even more, we're going to put that coaster on top, touching again, and I'm going to copy and paste. And this one, this time, is going to be x-axis 100. We're going to be the same x-axis as the first one. And then the Y axis, we're going to be 100 plus the diameter. 
of my object, which is 100. So now we're x 100, y 200. Now, to not confuse myself, I'm going to think of this as the y 200 axis. And I'm going to put another coaster beside it. This is my y 200 axis. Touching again. Control copy, control paste. My x was 100 last time, and it's going to be 200 this time. So now my y 200 axis won't change. Just like that. And then our next one, remember the y axis is not changing. We need to copy, paste. Y axis is staying at 200. But the x axis has to move over 100 more. So now this one is 300. And then we have our last eighth coaster. This is our 200 y axis. And this is axis is. 300 plus our diameter. There we have it. We have all eight of them set in place. This is where they're going to go. So now let's do the settings here. Uh, speed and power. We're going to turn off our air assist because we are not cutting, we are engraving. And we want the speed on this project to be 6,000 at 30%, and we want the fill to be 6,000 at 15%. Now we have set the relative position of all of these coasters to this one here. So we really only have to frame this one coaster. So I'm going to move the laser I have just one coaster selected, and see if I'm close here. Hit the frame button. You see the light on there? Well, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Okay, the position of the one coaster has been set. So now we're going to select all the patterns and make an overall frame to make sure that the approximate position of the laser engraving area is correct. So now that I'm happy that everything is in the right place, I make sure everything is selected on Lightburn and I click start. And we should be able to engrave eight cork coasters at the same time. All right, now all eight coasters have been printed at the same time. And they look great. What I love about this method is now, if I want to print eight more, I simply line up eight more coasters on the cutting platform and I don't need to redo anything on the computer. The only thing I have to do is do the framing so that the laser goes in the right place. But I can do eight more and then eight more. So this is very useful for batch printing of many different items. You might want to do keychains or whatever it is. It saves you a lot of trouble changing materials and also a lot of time. So I hope this tip has helped you. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for joining us. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. If you have suggestions, some ideas, put them in the comments section. Follow us on social media for more useful tips. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.